If you are a frequent Excel user on date related function, then data diff will be helpful in your Excel work. Here I have six different techniques on data diff function which will be helpful to improve your Excel knowledge on date function. Keep watching. Tap the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Excel related tips and tricks that you need it. So this is the formula for defining a data diff and here it is accepting three parameters. The first one is a date from and date to and third parameter identifier. So before that what is the purpose of using data diff? Data diff function is used to calculate the number of days between those two date. Here the first parameter is a date from. It is a date from from which the calculation will happen. Whether day 2 is like till this date the calculation will happen. Okay. So third parameter is identifier. So this is the very important parameter and here it is having plenty of options. Okay. So the options are year six options. Okay. So the first option is year. The calculation between the from and two days is based on year based and second is a month based and the third one is a day based calculation and fourth one is a MD that is nothing but calculate the number of days after subscri subtracting the whole months okay we'll check it on the real scenario, real time scenario like how to use it okay and while the fifth one is like calculating the number of month after subtracting that whole years and finally we have YD that is nothing but Calculating the number of days after subtracting the subtracting the whole years. We'll check it out one by one. Okay. So here, here I have six real-time scenarios. Okay. So the first one is what is Raj age? So this is the Raj. I want to calculate that Raj age by defining his date of birth. Okay. So to calculate the Raj age, we need to define this formula. Data read. Okay. And here we have three parameters. The first one is a date from. Okay, the date from like uh, we need to define that first parameter as a birth date. And define the first parameter. And the second parameter is a date to 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 which date that calculation should happen. So it is a today. So what is the today's date? October twenty nine. So I'm defining that today as a function. So function. And the third parameter is identifier. So what are the identifier? We have six identifier. The first one is a year. So if you want to calculate a person's age you need to define the parameter as a y so if we define it here you can see the number is a 29 okay so that means his age is 29 so this was calculated from the birthday to today and identifier is y okay so this is how you need to calculate that a person's age with the data diff function so we get it to the next scenario how many months muggy old okay so here in the second scenario i want to calculate the number of months against that person okay i just want to know how many months that person is old to identify that I'm just copying that same formula and here i'm just changing that identifier y to m if i change to y to m you can see 317 317 so that means that mahi person is 317 months old from his date of birth to till date okay you, you got it right so his month so this calculation is happening based on month so this is identifying only through the third parameter identifier okay got it and we'll get to the next scenario how many days rocky old that means how many days that person old in a day based it's not a month or year it is a day based how do you calculate that Rocky's days okay so for that you just copy that same formula here and they change the change the identifier to d you can see 10,330 so that the rocky person is 10,330 so this will be calculated from date of birth to till date okay so you can see that if you if you check these two dates you can see that the 10,330 days they will come okay we'll check into the next scenario here how many days Nabin old after subtracting whole months that means in the previous days we, we have calculated how many days rocky old here it's it's more than 10,000 it is a total days in the next scenario I just want to know how many days that that Navin person old after subtracting that whole month I don't need to consider that whole month I just want only the dates I mean the number of days after subtracting the whole days how do you do that just copy that same formula again and just change that parameter to let check it out here MD I change the parameter to MD. Here you can see that Navin person is seven days old after subtracting whole month. You need to identify. You need to identify how it is coming. Okay. Here I just explain here. 
uh, the navin is the navi has born in 22 january 1997 so you don't need to consider that years and all because we are considering only days so you consider don't consider that years okay january 22 okay what is the today's date october 29 okay here you don't need to consider that the formula is only to omit that subtracting that whole months just omitting that months okay you don't need to consider the months also okay so the months is january and october you don't need to consider that months also here you need to consider that only days so what is the date here here to today is a 29 whereas he born on 22 so what is the difference between 2 1 22 29 and 22 that's what the result is okay so it is considering this only days after subtracting that month okay hope you got it so this will be an interesting one okay so next formula is how many months passed since mughal's past birthday i just want to know the number of months passed since my last birthday how do you calculate that to do to do that just copy the same formula again and just change the parameter to ym here it is returning 6 but how but it is exactly matching because Mughi, Mughil has born on uh, just kind of just leave that year because we are talking about only months and days okay uh, Mughil has born on 1990 17th april okay what is today's date october 29 okay so here how many days passed since my last birthday so here he would have uh, celebrated his birthday on april 17 right so the difference between april to october is exactly six means six month got completed six month plus 12 days right so here it is it is coming calculating the number of completed months that is nothing but exactly six okay so this is how you need to calculate that you can play that data to function in different different scenario here i'm just taking that body as a concept so likewise you can take that real-time scenario with your with your work or with your okay we'll move into the next scenario how many days pass since tarun's last birthday in the previous previous scenario we were talking about months so in this scenario i just want to know how many days passed since my last birthday okay to do that, I'm just copying that same formula again and changing the parameter to yd. Here it is saying the day as a 259. Okay, so let's match it. So just omitting that years, and taking that months, and saying that so Tarun celebrated his Lord's birthday on February 13. So what is today's date? October 29. So it's almost eight months. 8 months like so it is exactly matching something like 259 days so he has completed on 259 days since past so here another another 100 days after to celebrate his next birthday okay so hope it helps you so this is how we need to calculate the number of days between those from and today okay so day to day function will, will have a plenty of advantages if you are working with that day related op operations click the subscribe button if you if you enjoyed my video